Bobby and the team touched on in Atlanta yesterday. Just give us a flavour of what the first few hours in the US have been like. Yeah, I've been quite excited to be fair. Um, um, we had the chance to, to watch the, the game, baseball yesterday. Good experience and, and to watch some other sports. Um, I thought it was uh, quite exciting. And um, yeah, this morning, first session, I think the, the condition is, is, is beautiful. Obviously, it's, it's very hot, so we have to train early. But um, so far, I think everything is, is perfect. We had thunder and lightning in Gated on Saturday. It is a little bit different. What is it like to train in, in terms of the humidity and how, how tough does that make it? Yeah, obviously it's, it's tough to train in this condition. Um, it's 9, 9 a.m. Uh, where we start to train, but it's already like 30 degrees, so um, it's not easy. But I think uh, for pre-season it's, it's something you need as well, you know, um, to get uh, over the top as well, uh, to, to get physically well. And I think um, that's definitely what we can do here, yeah. You mentioned the baseball last night, the whole team went to watch Atlanta Braves against Arizona Diamondbacks. Is, is that the first time you've been to baseball and, and, and what did you make of it as an experience? Yeah, actually it was the first time. I um, never had the chance to go. Um, I thought like just to see everything, like how they love the whole event as itself and like all around the stadium and, and, and things like that was like really nice to see and, and see the difference also. Uh, compared to the football uh, or the stadium in, 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 in Europe, for example. So I thought it was quite excited and um, yeah, I'm, I'm hopefully have the chance to go to other sport games and, and see some more, some more games. Yeah. As a sportsman, is it interesting for you to kind of go and explore different sports and different fields and sort of compare yourself and contrast them in, in terms of how they do things and how you would do things? Yeah, 100%. Obviously, like, also, like, I would wonder, like, how did Train, train on a daily basis. You know, every sport is different. But I think I think to see different uh, sports people, how they train, how they prepare themselves as a team, and and, and, and all together is is so interesting for for every player. So um, I think I've got got more chances to to explore that. Yeah. And culturally as well. I mean, you're a fairly well-travelled guy. Speak three languages. Is it nice to go and? see different things and explore different cultures like, like you got the chance to do last night and like I'm sure you will get to do during this trip. Yeah, 100%. I think that's life experience as well and I'm, I'm really glad to, to have the chance or be able to do things like that. Um, also like live in different countries and see all, the, all different things uh, around the world is something which uh, gives you something experience for, for your whole life and um, obviously um, just take it in and enjoy it. Football's the main focus though here in, in the next week and a half or so, three games against Premier League opposition. Will they give you a fairly good idea of where you are going into the season once you've got those games played? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's three, three tough games. Um, I think uh, all teams will be more or less on the same page, like physically, um, still in pre-season, but obviously the, the game's going to be like very difficult and, and a good test for ourselves to prepare for for, for the first game. I mean, first first Premier League is, is coming soon, so uh, we have to be ready. So we need them three games to be uh, perfectly prepared. You've played two games so far as a team, won them both. The game at Rangers on Tuesday night, what did you take from that one as a team and individually? Um, well, individually, it was great to be uh, back, played 60 minutes. Um, felt quite comfortable, to be fair only trained a few days so I was, I was quite happy with the game and um, as a team as well obviously uh, the result is not the, the most important I think in, in pre-season but still you, you win the game um, also in, in the tough stadium I think especially like uh, first 45 minutes we played some, some really some really good football uh, which we can build on it and just um, yeah see the quality we have in the team and I think that's uh, something we, we now uh, look forward to. 8,000 fans travel to watch you there. A few of those guys will probably be here. You'll have US-based fans here as well. Does it kind of make you feel really kind of clear how big this club now is starting to become on a, a global scale as well as a, a national scale? Yeah, I mean, it's always been a, a big club, I think. Um, the fans in, in the UK and in Newcastle are crazy. And I mean, uh, 8,000 coming to a friendly game. This is um, something special. I've, I actually never experienced that before, so um, it's unbelievable uh, for us players as well um, to have that at our back and now obviously have experience here in America and to see how things are here as well. So I'm, I'm really, really excited about, about our fans and the fan base we have and um, just just 
be really proud to be, to be part of this club. Enjoy the tour, Fabian. Cheers, thank you. Thank you.